Lake Lively as a flamboyant natural body type. The famous series Gossip Girl excited the hearts and minds of many girls worldwide. Bright, exciting outfits of one of the main characters, Serena van der Woodsen, were performed by the beautiful Blake Lively. Today we will analyze her style in detail and Blake Lively is of particular interest because she represents Kibi's flamboyant natural body type. If the flamboyant natural type does not dress accordingly to the body shape, then the woman runs the risk of appearing bigger than uh, she really is. Flamboyant naturals emanate a special vibe of sportiness. They look tall, fit, even if they don't actually play any serious sports. It turned out that this type of kibi is and was the most sought after in the fashion modeling business. And clothes for them are the most fashionable, trendy, rather voluminous, long, wide and bright. It must be noted that as a flamboyant natural type, Blake Lively has quite elongated body proportions, long arms, waist, legs, while the head visually seems a little bit smaller against the overall image of the body. She had a very stylish character Serena Wonderwoodson in the series, but still not all outfits can be called successful, just like uh, these images in which Lively looks harmonious and simply incomparable. Blake Lively's hair, flamboyant natural body type. For the flamboyant natural, the right fabrics and verticals are fundamental. The vertical can be created even with a hairstyle and Blake looks beautiful with it. Thanks to the lush, slightly disheveled hairstyle in the first three variants. Usually, a flamboyant natural type doesn't look well with a sleek hairstyle or a ponytail that is immaculate. Since their facial features tend to be too heavy for that hairdo, the ponytail that opens the face from all the angles makes all the disadvantages of the face come out in the bad lightning. The features tend to look more rough, especially in the daylight. For example, Irina Shake's face with a sleek hairdo looks heavy and rough, she is, even though she is a very stunning woman, while Blake's face before the changes in the nose area would be highlighted around the nose and even uh, highlight immediately the, the chin area as well. You need to be very careful with such hairdos as they immediately show all the imperfections or even asymmetrical perfections, like big lips for example, in the wrong light. It does require some kind of symmetry in the face. In order to wear it. It is highly recommended to wear big voluminous lines mane like Victoria's Secret models wavy hairstyles to coincide with the facial verticals and let's be honest who doesn't like the big voluminous hairstyle? However, Blake doesn't have bulging features and her complexion seems very harmonious without the big lips, eyes and even her nose after some changes. Looks really complimentary here. She doesn't have enormously huge ears or fleshy wide cheeks either. So technically she has nothing to hide. She is one of the flamboyant natural types who can actually wear a sleek hairstyle and a ponytail. Nothing to be afraid that any of the disadvantages will show up and ruin the whole symmetry. Even though big voluminous hairstyle suit her much better than the sleek ones. Blake Lively and what not to wear. Here Serena van der Woodsen proudly walks around the city in a gorgeous dress. The dress is not of a smooth texture, this is a plus, it has a good heavier texture as for a flamboyant natural, a very beautiful shade of deep blue, purple, sea and lavender. Such a spring color is perfect for summer color types and the minus of this outfit for flamboyant natural is the length and the fact that it is tight fitting in the area of the tummy. Shamelessly short, Blake's hips are not shaped well here, sharply cutting off the leg length. Super shiny sandals are in harmony with both the dress and the girl's hair though. Flamboyant natural girls usually never wear such dresses as in the photo here, pluses of the look. The sparkling shade of the fabric, the neckline is well highlighted, long hair and a lot of good flamboyant natural jewelry of large size. Cons, very thin fabric gave 
a flamboyant natural emasculated vibe. It highlights the muscular arms and the face becomes more square and rough. A very high waist though. Flamboyant naturals, on the contrary, they need to lower it down a little bit in order to make the silhouette more geometrically harmonious since she is very tall already and she needs to be careful with height and waist as not all high-waisted outfits will fit well and against the background of such a dress the yang divine male essence simply screams through it it tends out to be not such a feminine look of a cute girl for example soft gammon would look like a doll princess in that dress it's more a masculated one that doesn't go well with her uh, that much and this despite the fact that blake lively is a slender slim beautiful woman and the other photo shows the coat outfit that it completely failed in with such a bright appearance. It is too short for her and emphasizes the belly area, with, which is not ideal. This is a nice scarf though, tights and gloves. The bag would look better in a darker color here. In the next photo we see a very interesting cut of the cape coat with white wavy wings. It must be noted that such large unusual elements are very noticeable and big extravagant things usually make a flamboyant natural original and stylish. This is exactly for them. A flamboyant natural can generally wear all black to spice up the look with the right things looking amazing at the same time. Here there is only the jacket that is very short, the rest looks harmonious with her. White heavy scarf with a print, just what she needs, a large bag, a strong vertical in black outfit and the actress looks elegant and slender. An image in a hat with a curved brim is exactly the model that suits flamboyant naturals and soft dramatics I would say, but here the minus of the hat is that it seemingly eats the actress a bit too much and suppresses her to the ground because of the floppy hat and the white brim. I'd rather see her with a more structured brim hat with no waves and maybe not as wide as this one. In general it is a very stylish look for her that is based on the vertical formed by high heeled over the knee boots and a short dress with lacing uh, on the chest just because the length of the boots are of the same color of the dress so the length of the dress doesn't cut off the length of the legs as well well done blonde hair uh, flows down in soft waves giving the necessary accent in shades of black lace delicacy and beauty of lemoine naturals don't really coincide with this mess the strong fit of the fabrics to the figure turns the actress into a sports pole on feet. She looks too strong in a transparent veil-like dress. The plus of the dress is only its shade as well as an open neckline. A bondage dress. Short dress are also a huge no for Blake. Those immediately highlight everything you don't want to stress on. And I chose not the worst photo in this dress. In such a dress, in principle, you can get out of the car and stand like a statue because it will creep up and create a few rolls of wrinkles on the body. It emphasizes the tummy, which is of course not ideal for such a beautiful woman. In the photo, number three, everything is fine along the hem of the dress. Blake's stylist decided to go on a tour and bought colorful patterned tights. Even if the shoes were more powerfully looking, more smooth and classic, they would have uh, smoothed out this mistake as well. If not paying attention to the fact that the tights are of a strange color, they make her legs look really good and the length of the skirt makes it work all as well. I would just wish they weren't burgundy and maybe if, sh if the shoes were more classic looking that would be uh, much better. And the next photo shows Roberta Cavalli's dress. It seems to be long flowing and loose and the print is large, the decoration is not small and the shades of sky blue are beautifully woven into the dress but everything together overshadows the girl. She is not as visible as the dress itself. The shades of black and white do not suit her uh, together with the huge geometry of the print. As her facial lines are very delicate and small she also needs a smaller print otherwise it will not work out well for her. Mainly this happened not because of the model of the dress 
but because her facial lines don't really permit such huge geometric patterns, they overshine her beauty. Plus, I would rather want her to change the shoes for kitten heel or any other smaller heel. The dress overall has a relaxing composition that doesn't require anybody to wear high-heeled classic shoes. This important nuance was missed by uh, Blake's stylist. What suits flamboyant natural body type? What looks best for this kiwi type? Of course, a loose fit. They bloom like many petaled beautiful penis in it. In the first photo, a loose grey sweater dress sweater dress goes well with rough lace up boots and this is what gives the look an unusual and advantageous difference. The coat made of fur complements the picture. Here we are pleased with the oversized coat of a heavenly shade with a large detail in the form of a black contrasting color. And contrasts in the necessary textures are very suitable for a flamboyant natural. The coat is of a dense fabric with a soft wavy corners against the background of sharpness. Bright faces are visually plumper and rounder. Sharp colors are best draped with voluminous scarves. Here we can see a beautiful model of a pullover with slits on the sleeves, laces, cuts, necklines, everything seems to be created for the flamboyant types. In the next photo everything is very sharply dramatic. The black vertical slims down and stretches out the silhouette. The top is somewhat rough, such things are hard to endure by flamboyant naturals. She also needs to match it up with rather heavy makeup. If she had let the hair down it would brighten up the overall image. I really like the image in the third photo. A high-waisted skirt made of thick leather emphasizes the slenderness of legs of, uh, of Blake Lively. Against the background of thick texture, she looks feminine. A successful fit silver sandal with wide straps look great. With rolled up sleeves, we can see a thin feminine arm structure. The top could look better if it was more voluminous and maybe some open neck and the decolletage area, but in general everything about this outfit is worth it. Here the bondage style skirt made frames with the tucked in top and the length of the blazer, which also smoothed out the high waist. A large bag decorated with glitter looks stylish. In the next photo the dark shades are mixed well with which gives the desired vertical, but altogether it looks a bit out of the place. There is a lack of uniformity in garments, but the image is colorful and memorable. A good bag and a massive necklace suit her type well. Blake Lively's shimmery blazer gives her extra softness, highlighted shoulders, weighty bracelet with chains, good friends for flamboyant natural types. And that's it for today and thank you so much for staying here with me. I hope you liked it and this information was useful and helpful for you. I hope to see you in the next episode.